All right, let's take this across to our guest. Joining us with us is Harish Khurana, spokesperson of the BJP. Ravi Shivastav is also with us. Ravi Shivastav, BJP today is standing up and saying, I told you so. We did mention the link and the meeting that took place in Oberoi Hotel. The southern link in one southern state was mentioned earlier, and that's exactly what has happened today and is evident from the raids that are taking place in Hyderabad and other southern states. Your response to that, Ravi Shivastav? I think out of everything is the real speculation. There is no solid evidence to prove anything yet that their meetings took place or in Oberoi or in uh, Telangana, in Hyderabad, in the uh, first family, etc., etc. Yesterday, I was on a debate and I asked that the particular video of Mr. Amit Arora who released it. I think many channels were showing it was provided, it was supplied by the BJP. But BJP spokesperson, national spokesperson, Dr. Sudhanshu Trivedi said on camera on your debate that BJP did not give this video. And this is not a uh, sting operation. This is a straight interview. Because the sting happens when the person who is talking is unidentified. You don't, he's a stranger. But here the person is giving as if somebody is taking an interview. And that too, an ROP, an alleged, accused person, that he is, whatever he will say, he will say only that yes, that the, I paid it, etc., etc. I think first CBI, instead of raiding at 40 locations or 50 locations, should go and catch no, all the Ravish government. Vastav, doesn't it make it, it more serious? Just, if this person yeah. is actually saying so voluntarily, does that not make it more serious? That here is a person who is perhaps one of the accused in the scam, who is actually coming out and saying, yes, this was a complete violation, that certain businessmen were benefited, that smaller businesses were squeezed out by the qualification criteria, so on and so forth. Does that take away from the gravity of the charges? Of course, I'll ask a question to the BJP as well, but does it take away from the gravity of the charges that have been leveled? Absolutely, Madhav. Evidence Act says that the person who is accused will say anything unless he gives under 164 CRPC a statement before the magistrate. His words have got no value. It is all fake. Okay. He has to. He should be first arrested because he seems to be the person who has uh, who has paid the bribe, who has got the contacts or whatever it Let's is. Let's take this across to Harish Karana. Harish Karana, there is no value because this is a person who is accused and accused can say anything to save themselves. He may turn approver also, of course, is an allegation that several have made. Your response to what Ravi Shivastav is saying. Harish Karana. This is the same certificate of honesty was being given by Arvind Kejriwal few months back. We heard about at the time of Satyendra Jain. What happened to him? He's been jailed by, not by the order of ED, not by the order of CBI. It's by the order of court, honorable court. He's in jail since last four months. The same script is, is, is repeated again. He's a cutter imandar. The cutter imandar certificate was given by then also. Today, when the accused number nine, Amit Arora, has clearly said, uh, taken a few names, like 100 crore has been given by Indospread, 60 crore has been given by Aman Dhal, 50 crore by, by Jazeep, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Chadda, 30 crore by Diva, Diva Strip. Is, is, is the Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodhi don't have a duty to tell the country... But Harish Kurana, the, Harish Kurana, one simple question. In the case oh, of Satinder Jain, at least the allegations were specific. You are referring to shell companies, you are referring to parcels of land. What is the money trail here and what is the solid evidence is the question that AAP is asking. They are saying that if there is evidence, show us and conduct the arrest. Take, take the people into custody. See, see first of all, uh, 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 I'm on the parties on the court where, where they, they, are, they have to show the, all, the, all the documents. It's, it will be the court who will decide whether the documents which will be submitted by CBI or AD are correct or uh, uh, permissible or no. But the fact is, today the, we, are, we are asking a political and a moral, moral question from them. Point number one, when the policy was, uh, recommendation was there that no wholesale business will be given to, to the private hands. Why they have given to private hands? Point number one, when they have said retail business should be given to individuals and uh, it has to be given by, uh, uh, given to the individuals and through a lottery system. Why they have given to their, their friends on, on 32 zones, okay. 27 shops each. And also, this is the first time in the history of uh, whole country, listen me, listen me, 2% uh, commission from 12, from 2% commission it was given 12% commission decided by the government over here never been it has never been happened that excise 
uh, commission of wholesale was decided by the government of okay. uh, Delhi. Why? Okay. This is a moral question which we are asking. All right. We'll have to leave it and there, Harish. We're completely out of time. Harish uh, Khurana and Ravi Srivastava, certainly this is a debate that uh, is nowhere close to coming to an end. Certainly a lot more that is expected in terms of political developments and, uh, of course, the investigation as well. For the moment, we're slipping into a very quick break.